Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Windows NT4 on PCEM. So here we go. I'm going to create a new config. You can name it Windows NT4 or whatever you want. And then you're going to click OK. You can pick any type of Pentium 2. Like that this time. I recommend the ATI Graphics Pro Turbo. You can set it at any type of speed you want. You can add Voodoo Graphics if you want. But I am going to show you it if you want to install it. The sound card. I would pick the Sound Blaster 16. That new hard drive, you must give it a 63 sectors, 16 heads, 2448 cylinders. So you can't install it on an 80 gigabyte hard drive, unfortunately. And from the network, you're going to pick a Realtek RTL 8029AS. So Next, boot up the machine. And you want to press delete. You want to go to BIOS features, go to boot sequence, and go to the impact of boot on CD ROM enabled. Press escape. Save and exit. That's it up. And you want to click Say Yes to Save Changes. And after that, insert your Windows NT ISO immediately. files Then it's going to take you to this loader Microsoft Windows NT version 4 build 1381. And it says, Welcome to Setup, the setup program for Windows NT4 operating system for careers Windows NT to run on your computer. Hit enter, and enter, continue, you want to scroll down, and you want to press F8 to accept the license agreement, and enter, hit enter on the existing partition, and you want to format the partition with NTFS file system. And then it will format the hard drive for you. So I'll be right back when this is finished. Setup installs Windows NT files on your hard disk. Choose where you want to the files installed. You want to hit enter. Setup will now examine your hard disk for corruption. So you want to hit enter. Yeah. 
going to copy files. So I'll be right back when this is done. All right, it's going to ask for a reboot. And you have, if, if, and it says you have to remove any CDs from your CD drive. That's because of the boot order you did. So that is for step one of this new screen process. So for step two, you want to hit enter to reboot your computer. Hit delete, enter setup, go to BIOS features, and you want to change the boot sequence to C. This will not boot from the CD-ROM. Escape, save and exit setup, save changes, type Y and hit enter, and we have two options. It's going to boot into Windows NT version 4. Notice how it says Service Pack 1, but we're going to upgrade it to Service Pack 6. But before we do, we have to install the network driver before we can do any other. You install the service pack before the internet drivers, it'll mess everything up. So you have to install that one first. And we'll reboot. Moving to Windows NT4 build 1981 Service Pack 1. Okay. That was a scan list, so no. Copy files. It says, Welcome to Windows NT Setup Wizard, which will guide you for the rest of setup. Continue and click Next. Step 1 is gathering information about your computer, installing Windows NT networking, and Step 3 is finishing setup. So, I'm going to click Next. set of options. You can do typical, portable, compact, or custom. I'm going to do custom because there are some options that I do want. I'm typing a little bit easier than it is necessary. Click next. Type in the computer name. I'm going to name mine PCEMNT. You can type in the administrator account if you want. You do not want to create an emergency repair disk because it's not necessary. And since we selected custom, you can see it on a key right. So I want all accessories. You don't need communications. You want all multimedia. And you want to have games because you want to play games on Windows NT. Click next. It's going to install Windows NT networking. Click next. Do not connect this computer to the network at this time because we're going to install that later. We're going to be finishing setup. So 
can finish. Put that in here. And then use a T. Set your time zone to wherever you want. Live in. Close. Add your technical supply card. Click OK. I'm going to do 800 and 600. Click test. And then click OK. Did you see this test fit now properly? Click yes. And then click OK. It'll pick up the video driver. It's now copying files. And some security on system files. So in the configuration. Shouldn't take too long. And that's it. Windows NT4 has installed successfully. Remove disks from faulty drive and copy disks from CD-ROM and choose Restart Computer. Restart your computer and then insert your PCEM Utilities ISO. Hit enter for Windows NT Workstation version 4. First thing we're going to install is the network. Okay, it's going to take you to the logon screen. Begin logon. Press Control Alt to lead to logon. Go to System and hit Control Alt Delete. Type in your administrator password if you have one, and then hit Enter. And click OK. And welcome to Windows NT. Okay. Drivers. You can start settings control panel. You want to click on network. It says Windows NT networking is not installed. You want to install it now? Click yes. Oh wait, it's not right. Sorry about that. I had to create a new PCEM images because I forgot to pack the drivers.
So you want to insert your PCEM ISO and okay so you want to click on network Windows NT network thing is not installed do you want to install it now click yes please wait while Windows NT prepares network setup You pick either wired to the network or remote access to the network. I'm going to do wired. Click next. Select from the list. And you want to select Realtek RTL 8029 PCI adapter. Have disk. And does not have a browse button, so. You're going to have to type E Win NT for network. Click OK. Hmm, it's weird. Oh. Okay, Win NT is not in your area. Oh, I forgot to type in NT, so type E win NT for network slash win NT. Click OK. Choose a software it's supported by this hardware's manufacturer's disk. Click OK. Click Next. You can do TCIP protocol. Click Next. Next. Next, it's going to ask for the Windows NT CD, so insert your Windows NT CD, click continue, oh, forgot to type in D, click continue, an error has been turned, unable to open the file, Ignore and something's not right. Continue. Yes. Something's not set. Okay. Next. 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 Finished. You can reboot. We start the PC and we're gonna put our PC EM utility C. ISO back in, but we gotta wait for the thing to go back to the, de the desktop, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back on the desktop. I'm gonna go on my computer, M4, you install the drivers, you have to click, and do some changes. Click OK. I want to go to PCM Utilities, WinNT4, and you want Service Pack 6. So double click that. And after that, we're going to install the sound. Extracting files. And if you're installing the sound drivers, you may want to extract them to a place you'll have to remember. So, extract the sound to C, 
drivers win and t win and t sound you wanna unzip All right, we're in setup. Accept the license agreement. Put this off. Mm -hmm. Oh, why this keep coming up? Source pack six is done. We're gonna install the sound card. Right. So X is done. Click restart. Oh, I'm gonna extract the reactor. Okay. Get the thing rebooting. I'm gonna install the sound card next. Okay. So install the sound. Start settings control panel. Click multimedia. Go to devices. Add unlisted or updated driver. Click the app view extracting files. Click OK. Wait. Drivers, NT, sound. Sorry, I typed the wrong words. Sorry about that. Type the path you extracted from sound. Line C. Drivers, NT, sound. Click OK. Sound Blaster 16 or AWE 13. Click OK. Continue. Click OK. Click Restart Now. And now we finally get to play that static sound. I love the static sound. OK. Delete. Okay, here we go. I love that sound. Mm -hmm. Install the DD2 and the USB. 
going to be the uh, female team. It's my girl. I'm not sure if you can see me that well. I don't know that I can see him with the USB support. So I'll click on that Dell app right there. It'll continue. Because it wants you to start to see Dell drivers R6220, but we're going to change that to C drivers NT USB. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'll do the computer to in a moment. Next. 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 Oh, oh my God. It's pausing. Hang on one moment. Okay, put a few me up on speed too, and, oh, I'm sorry, not to do it manually. So I'm going to do some updates. I'll be right back. Okay, for Voodoo, you have to go to this folder, click Setup, and it'll open this. Click Next, Yes, Next. I'll restart later because I am going to be updated off camera, so here I go. Okay, all updates off camera are called Internet Explorer 6. Outlook Express and Media Player 7. So, this. Also, I think I did it back again before. Media Player 7. Thank you. 